The showcase we're doing today is um, a pop-up exhibition called Mboza. Now Mboza is an artistic response to a much bigger project about development alternatives. We were privileged or rather honored to be part of a group of artists that were requested to respond to a project by another group of artists from the UK, from Bangladesh and from Uganda. Basically this project is about giving artists a chance to respond to the world of development and developmental problems. I personally contributed an art book to the project and it's called Nambi, the creation story from Buganda. In that story, we were told about how Nambi, the daughter of the sky god, Gulu, came on earth, fell in love with a man, and that led to a series of events whereby she literally moved from heaven to put her home on earth. The book is handmade. It's made from waste paper. So every page of the book has been made from like about three different types of waste paper to create the pages, to create the cover. And in it are the words that I imagine Nambi would have asked or said uh, about the home she left behind. This is the book. I was very deliberate about the title because I was interested in Nambi as a personality and as, as a deity. We see a, a montage of what I think Earth looks like right now. We continue. I make commentary on the current transportation system and how the conveniences that we currently require are killing our planet. I also obviously talk about dowry because I have a feminist practice and one of the things I truly want to understand is our cultural relationship with the idea of dowry. Why are my daughters being exchanged for cows? Do the sons of Kintu love their cows so much that they are now equal in value to my daughters? She continues to raise questions. Her brother, Death, she asks about him. I hear these days he wears a suit. A suit is a representation of capitalism. So the book temporarily ends on a question that goes, Mbuliza Abana, how is our home? Nambi is asking the children, how is the home that she built for them? As a person who loves to read, who loves to write, who loves the written word and has a deep respect and appreciation for the written word or storytelling. As Africans, we have oral stories, but as this, this culture of telling stories orally feds, now we have books. So it's upon us to transfer these oral narratives into books in the most interesting ways possible. Interesting point that the book is a growing work of art, and I think it delivers. Because the story itself, the story of Nambi, is a, in a way literature in a book. And this book takes that and puts a spin on it. And that's why I think it delivers. It weaves all this poetry with these elements, the visuals, the texture, the material. They all come together to give an experience to the person seeing it. And I think it works. <laughs>